Hi. In this video we are going to check some of the new features added in the last firmware update plus other ones not so new that have not been documented in other videos yet. By pressing shift and tempo buttons the swing amount can be adjusted with the encoder. But now, the swing will affect only a selection of tracks so both shuffled and straight grids are available simultaneously. This selection can be different for each song within a project. The process to import audio files to the internal flash memory has been significantly improved. Now converting files to RAW format is no longer required. Instead, mono WAV files can be placed in the samples folder and Tucro will convert them to RAW by itself. Also, if a file already exists in the flash memory, Tucro will not try to replace it, but skip to the next one. This way there shouldn't be any freezing during the import process. The limitation of 256 samples has been also expanded to 1792, but the available storage space is still 16 megabytes. A new sample player has been added to play WAV files directly from the micro SD card. The files have to be in WAV format and placed in a folder of the micro SD named WAV. They don't need to be headless and can also be stereo. But in that case only the left channel will be heard. To activate the sample player, click the settings button. Now, the way the sample player is managed is similar to the drum synth. By clicking on the second row the drum synth is set on and off, and clicking with shift will change the waveform. So clicking on the third column will activate the sample player, while doing it with shift will change the sample player from factory, to user, to micro SD. This applies also to the sample selection view. In this view the categories are shown by default. Except for the micro SD sample player, these ones are uncategorized. A new control layout has been added too. To activate it press the function and live buttons. This was a request of my son so I call it the SEVI mode. The first column is solo. The second and third ones are previous and next patterns. When this mode is activated the multi-pattern mode will be set on two, so each track can run a different one. The fourth column will activate the Euclidean mode, which number can be adjusted with the encoder and the fifth one will do it for the Euclidean rotation. The sixth column clear the steps while the pattern is running. Seventh and eighth are fill and roll respectively. Both in SEVI and live modes anything done with fill and roll will be captured if the record is activated. Tukra's sounds can also be triggered by external MIDI devices. MIDI note and MIDI channel has to be the same that Tukra has defined in the track settings. The MIDI velocity will be like the step value, so if the step value of a track is modulating its volume, pitch, sample selection or whatever, the MIDI velocity will do the same. This function is set on by default. You can set it off by clicking the function plus shift plus MIDI. Pressing, shift, function and clock in buttons then trigger length can be adjusted. Use the encoder to set the trigger length, in steps of 0.1 milliseconds. This setting is handy to interact with digital modules that require long triggers. Default value is 3 milliseconds, available range goes from 1 to 8 milliseconds. Patterns, parts and songs can be called by using program change MIDI messages. Program change messages with channel 1 will change the patterns, 
with channel 2 will change the part and with channel 3 the song. And this changes will perform immediately. A soft clipping has been added to the mixer. Clicking function shift and volume buttons will start the spectrum analyzer. The rightmost column of LEDs is the VU meter. Here you can see the difference before and after applying the soft clipping.